Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to this new video on my channel. Today I'm showing you a simple but super speedy trick that will help you to boost your productivity and that will really enable you to get a faster process while working in Sketch. And I'm mainly using this because a lot of times I'm using many icons or icon sets for a certain project. And uh, yeah, for example, I have my Sketch file open. Um, and I try to open up a couple of files, like imagine this is my sketch file right here and I have my iPhone 8 artboard and now I want to insert some icons. Then usually what I do is to uh, go to my finder or search them or just in this case I'm using my uh, recent files that I opened uh, like today. Um, and I want to open in a couple of icon files. So I have this streamline icon set and you see it's coming up, opening up in a new window. So what I do is I select an icon, I copy it, I switch screens and then I paste it. It's quite simple. It's still okay. So, but imagine I go and open up another icon set. And maybe I even need a third icon set because I'm not sure in which of those three icon sets the, uh, this particular icon is that I'm looking for. So I have a bunch of sketch files right here. I even have like them overlaying each other so you can't really click one of them or you really have to see and look, oh, is this my original artboard? And it's really a pain. So. Uh, I thought about what I can do to improve this and a lot of you guys know because I think I even made a video about it before that you can go to window and hit merge all windows. That way you get a tabbed view of all your sketch files. That way I have my original artboard and I can move it to the left and I have all my other uh, pages and files right here and I can simply select them and copy them over without having to work with these different windows. But the problem is uh, sometimes it happens that you have just one of those icon sets right there as a tab and you open another one because you're still missing some icons and you're opening up the this one for example. And you see, it's a new window. So right now we have a group of those two windows, of the, but those are tabs, and I have a new window. So it's really mixed up. And I found out with the help of a cool, like, cool guy from uh, sketchplugins.com that you can do this in your Mac settings. And maybe you know that before, then that, that's quite good. Um, but I didn't know that you can force your apps to open new tabs instead of new windows. So you go to your system preferences, then you go to dock and you select uh, prefer tabs when opening documents and you select always. Usually I think that will uh, be like the manually um, option selected or in full screen only, but you have to select always. If you select always, and if you close this up, we can now close a few of those windows and try it out again. We have the first icon set. It's opening up in a new tab. Let's try it out with the second one. Let's open it up. And it's opening up in a new tab. That's awesome, guys. And of course, it will happen with all other windows that I will open um, and that are sketch related. And I think this is really awesome. I hope this little tip helped you uh, because I just have this, this uh, system preference just uh, always right now. And it will help me to have those groups, those tabs every time I work with different windows. And in my case, it's mostly when working with icons and icon sets and it really boosts my productivity. I don't have to care about window management and trying to figure out which window, which icon set, uh, the right one 
um, is, but I can just uh, use those tabs right here and go back to my original artboard on the left side. So I hope, yeah, I could give you a few insights into this feature, how it works and what you can do with it. I think it's awesome and I hope you enjoyed this video. So thanks guys for your time and we see us in the next one. Bye. This video was sponsored by Death Mountain. If any of you are interested in learning UX design, Death Mountain is a 12 week design bootcamp intended to get you a full time job in the industry. You can learn more about this at deathmountain.com or by clicking the link in the video description. Thanks for watching the video and we see us in the next one. Bye!